The Whisper Turbo AutoSense is a portable smoke evacuation system that allows for application in many different surgical settings and provides effectiveness within most smoke-creating surgical procedures. The components of the Whisper Turbo system include smoke evacuation unit, available in both 120 volt and 220 volt configurations, ViroSafe Ultra Low Penetration Air Filter, ViroSafe Pre Filter, if applicable to the procedure, tubing, the type of tubing selected will be based on the surgical application, optional remote switch activator, also known as an RSA, pneumatic foot switch, optional arm stand, if desired, typically used in non-sterile environments. It is recommended that a high filtration surgical mask be worn when surgical smoke is present. Most common surgical masks have the ability to capture some surgical smoke particulate down to 5 microns. Most particles created during the ablation process are 1.1 microns or less, rendering these masks ineffective. Buffalo Filter offers high filtration masks, models SMLOF50 and SMLOF300, that offer filtration down to 0.1 micron particles. Contact Buffalo Filter for more information on high filtration surgical masks. The Whisper Turbo AutoSense arrives to you with the smoke evacuation unit, a power cord, pneumatic foot switch, and an operation manual. A Buffalo Filter ViroSafe filter with RFID technology, sold separately, is required to operate the system. To set up your Whisper Turbo AutoSense, first determine which location will be appropriate to place your unit, keeping in mind that your power cord must run to a grounded receptacle, the pneumatic foot switch must be placed for easy operation, as well as the tubing placement. To set up the system, first connect your pneumatic foot switch to the unit by sliding the foot switch tubing into the outlet located on the back of the system marked foot pedal. Slide the tubing into the outlet until it fully seats in the opening and cannot slide in any further. Next, plug the non-receptacle side of the modular power cord into the back of the unit. Plug the opposite end of the cord into a grounded wall outlet. Ensure that the power cord is routed on the floor in such a way that it does not create a trip hazard. You are now ready to insert your ViroSafe filter. ViroSafe filters are available in 6-hour, 12-hour, 18-hour, and 24-hour duration. Please note that the 12-hour filter is specifically designed for use with the Erbium YAG laser, while the two 24-hour filter models are specifically designed for laser hair removal or veterinary applications. The amount of remaining life on the filter decreases with actual smoke evacuator use. Some ViroSafe filters are also available in a twin 22mm port configuration. Others offer a double port configuration which provides 22mm and 32mm ports within one filter. Twin port filters are often used during spinal procedures, bilateral breast procedures, cardiac bypass procedures, and other cases that require smoke to be captured from a dispersed surgical site. Double port filters offer a 32 mm port to accommodate larger tubing which allows for more flow. These filters are often used for laser hair removal procedures. It is important to note that the red caps removed when inserting a smoke evacuation tube should be retained to replace when a tube is not in place. Additionally, ports that are not in use should remain capped to prevent decreased suction and prevent fingers from accidentally going inside the filter. Consult your Buffalo Filter representative for recommendations on the best filter to fit your unique surgical needs. Place your ViroSafe filter into the filter basket of the Whisper Turbo AutoSense unit. The filter may be placed into the unit facing any direction. Face the hose opening in the direction that best suits your operating needs. If the Whisper Turbo AutoSense is already turned on, the turbo unit will recognize the ViroSafe filter, will indicate the model number, and will display the time remaining on the filter in one minute increments. If a non-ViroSafe filter is placed into the unit, the system will not operate 
as the system is designed to work exclusively in conjunction with the ViroSafe model. This feature ensures proper capture of the harmful elements within the surgical smoke, as well as proper operation of the system over time. If the unit is not on, you may now turn the system on. The Whisper Turbo AutoSense is equipped with a main power switch located on the back of the unit and an on standby button on the front control panel. First switch the main power supply on the back of the unit to the on position, indicated by the number 1. The unit's display panel will illuminate and it will enter the standby mode. If the ViroSafe filter has not yet been inserted into the filter basket, the LCD display on the unit's control panel will indicate Insert a ViroSafe filter. The turbo unit may also be activated by depressing the pneumatic foot switch so long as the main power supply is turned on, located on the back of the unit. You may turn the unit on utilizing the control panel and place the unit back in standby utilizing the foot switch and vice versa. The Whisper Turbo AutoSense is equipped with Radio Frequency Identification, or RFID, technology. This technology allows the ViroSafe and Whisper Turbo AutoSense unit to communicate with one another. When the main power to the unit is turned on and a ViroSafe filter is inserted into the filter basket, the LCD readout on the unit's control panel will identify the model number of the filter inserted, helpful for replacement ordering, the time remaining on that filter, the suction setting, whether or not the unit's turbo function has been activated, and a visual indication as to whether or not the unit is operating or in standby mode. The RFID technology will track the remaining life of the filter throughout its operational period in one minute increments. This will allow you to plan filter replacements and ordering. When the filter reaches zero hours and zero minutes, the display will flash to indicate that the filter has expired. The system will continue to operate until the main power is turned off, the filter is removed from the filter basket, or the system is left idle in standby mode for greater than six hours. This feature is incorporated to ensure that filter capture is not compromised, creating a hazard for either the smoke evacuation unit or more importantly, the patient and OR staff. Expired filters should be treated as biohazardous waste and disposed of according to facility protocol. Suction or motor speed can be adjusted using the up and down arrows on the unit's control panel. It is recommended that a suction speed be selected that is sufficient for capturing the plume created, but it is not necessary to set the suction speed beyond this level. Using a suction speed that is just sufficient to capture the smoke plume will allow the facility to further take advantage of the Whisper Turbo AutoSense's already very quiet design. During periods of heavy smoke generation, the turbo button may be pressed to capture this high volume of plume. The turbo mode significantly increases the suction power of any given suction level to a point near double the original setting. Once the heavy smoke period generation has subsided, Pressing the turbo button again will deactivate this mode and return the unit to whatever suction setting was selected prior to the turbo mode being selected. When in turbo mode, the LCD display will indicate the word turbo and will return to the word normal after this mode is deactivated. The Whisper Turbo AutoSense's LCD display is pre-programmed to display in multiple languages. The available languages are English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, and Swedish. To change the language setting, remove the ViroSafe filter and with the main power switch turned to the on position, press the on standby button on the unit's control panel and the turbo button simultaneously. Scroll through the languages using the up and down arrow buttons. Once you have reached the language you would like to select, press the on standby button once more to set this as the default language. The unit's LCD display may also indicate some service information, such as information about the motor brush life or filter identification issues. If this occurs, contact Buffalo Filter or your local representative for assistance. There are several different types of tubing and hose assemblies available for the Whisper Turbo system. Once again, your Buffalo Filter representative can recommend a model or several models of tubing that will best fit your surgical needs. Depending on the application, 
Reducer fittings are available to alter the diameter of the hose when working in tight locations, such as the oral cavity or open intra-abdominal procedures. The most common size of tubing is a 7 8 inch or 22 millimeter diameter. To insert the tubing into your ViroSafe filter, pinch the tubing between your thumb and index finger as shown. Then insert the tube into the filter. Once inserted, release the tube and it will expand into the opening of the filter. A few variations of tubing options will be demonstrated. However, your Buffalo Filter representative can assist you with a tubing option to best suit your needs. It is important to note that smoke evacuation tubing should be considered biohazardous at the end of the case, similar to an expired filter, and should be disposed of in accordance to facility protocol for dealing with such contaminated items. Using a common 7 8 inch or 22 millimeter tube, you can position the distal end or opposite end from that inserted into the filter in a number of ways. The tube may be held by a member of the surgical team at the point of smoke creation. The CDC recommends that the tube be held as close to 2 inches or 5 centimeters from the point of smoke creation as possible. This will maximize the smoke capture and ensure that the smoke plume does not reach the breathing zone of the OR staff. The standard 7 8 inch or 22 millimeter tubing can be ordered in sterile and non-sterile configuration, with or without positioning wands, and an optional sponge guard. An alternative to an open hose configuration is to utilize a PenAdapt electrosurgery pencil adapter. The PenAdapt is universally designed to fit over most electrosurgical pencils. Consult your Buffalo filter representative to ensure a proper fit to your application. Simply insert the electrode from the electrosurgical pencil into the pen adapt and allow it to puncture the membrane in the adapter and continue inserting it until the electrosurgical pencil is fully seated into the opening of the pen adapt. While holding the pencil in one hand and the pen adapt in the other, stretch the pen adapt until the clasp on the back of the adapter fits over the back end piece of the pencil. Ensure that the wire stemming from the back of the electrosurgical pencil is positioned between the two legs of the pen adapt clasp such that the wire is not being pinched or trapped beneath one of the legs. The smoke evacuation system, coupled with a pen adapt electrosurgical pencil combination, can operate together in both a manual and automatic activation mode. To use the system in manual mode, ensure that the main power to the turbo unit is on and simply start the Whisper Turbo AutoSense at the onset of electrosurgical, laser, ultrasonic scalpel, or drill reamer use, either by pressing the on standby button on the control panel or activating the unit by depressing the foot switch. As a convenience, a remote switch activator, or RSA, is available to initiate the smoke evacuation system automatically when either the cut or coagulation button is depressed on the electrosurgical pencil. A detailed description of the RSA and its functions is contained in the chapter of this program entitled Remote Switch Activator. Similar to the pen adapt, Buffalo Filter offers an adapter to fit with certain laser apertures. This adapter, called the Lace Adapt, will evacuate smoke plume in the same fashion as the pen adapt at the point of creation. Please contact your Buffalo Filter representative to discuss which lasers the Lace Adapt will accommodate. Laparoscopic procedures can create unique challenges when safely evacuating surgical smoke plume. Buffalo Filter offers two laparoscopic tubing set options for the Whisper Turbo AutoSense, known as the BLAP series. Equipped with or without a trumpet valve, this tubing connects directly to the lower lock port on the side of the surgical cannula, or trocar, and evacuates the surgical smoke plume created within the peritoneal cavity during laparoscopy. Simply connect the BLAP series to the cannula, open the trocar port valve, and the Whisper Turbo AutoSense will draw the plume out of the abdomen and filter it through the system's high filtration media prior to exhausting the air into the OR. As a helpful tip, it is best to connect the BLAP series to the surgical cannula that is furthest from the camera location as to not draw smoke directly in the direction of the camera device, potentially obstructing the surgeon's view. The optional trumpet valve controls CO2 loss by allowing an OR staff member to activate smoke removal only when smoke plume is present. 
Simply depress the trumpet valve and the smoke will be drawn into the turbo system quickly and safely. Learn more about other Buffalo Filter laparoscopic smoke evacuation solutions by contacting your Buffalo Filter representative. For other tubing options, contact your Buffalo Filter representative. Thank you for choosing the Whisper Turbo AutoSense Smoke Evacuation System. If you have any questions or need any assistance with its operation or its accessories, please contact your Buffalo Filter representative at toll-free in the U.S. 1-800-343-2324, outside of the U.S. 1-716-835-7000. Email smoke-info at buffalofilter.com or on the web at www.buffalofilter.com.